back to winners here. Cam Newton. I think, you know, people we've hated a little bit on the Patriots moves. Our Monday slash Tuesday recording of the podcast, we talked a lot about the Patriots now have spent the second most guaranteed money of any team in an offseason in NFL history and haven't gotten significantly better outside of maybe adding at the tight end position. Yeah, people kind of hate it on that. But it's like, go look up and down the roster. What position groups would you say are high-quality position groups? Offensive line. Tight end. Tight end. Maybe the secondary, but the secondary is one where you have the big question marks in terms of guys who are old now at this yeah. point. The McCourty brothers, Stephon Gilmore. And I think they got better along the defensive line. Well, Adding you're Matthew better, Judon. but like, is that look at that defensive line compared to defensive lines around the NFL? Like Matthew Judon, Chase Winovich, uh, the second round last year from Michigan, whose name's escaping me now at the moment. Josh Uche, uh, Josh Uche. Uche. Wise. Like, is that a top ten defensive line in the NFL? I don't think so. Like, there are much better defensive lines up and down. There's no one stud impact pass rusher there. You have a lot of, like, solid. I think the best way to sum it up overall, before we talk about how Cam Newton is a winner, adding Hunter Henry and John Smith, is that they got better. And if you look at PFF's improvement index on PFF.com that Kevin Cole writes, they are the most improved team in the NFL right now. And But here's the thing. They were the most improved team, and they overpaid to get there. And maybe they had to because they had the cap situation, and it's hard mm-hmm. to get maybe people to come to New England with just Cam Newton under center. But I do think that they overpaid to get better to a point where it's going to be very difficult for them to pay over $135 million guaranteed and live up to those expectations yeah. that come with that salary cap figure, like 10, 11 wins. Yeah. But talk to me about the winner. Talk to me about Cam so Newton. Cam Newton, obviously a winner. He's throwing to – Demir Bird as his number two option last year. And, and you get Hunter Henry, Jonu Smith, Kendrick Bourne, Nelson Aguilar. And obviously, Bourne was a third stringer in San Francisco. Aguilar, a career kind of up and down between Philly and then now Las Vegas. That these aren't number one receivers. They might not even be number two wide receivers, but they're still upgrades. And obviously, the tight end position, it's kind of building this team around what Cam Newton does best and what they tried to do with Cam Newton last year in that running game and why they drafted Asi Asi and Dalton Keene in the third round last year and were willing to admit those were mistakes of picks and now upgrade at that position. So I think you're going to see the return of the Aaron Hernandez, Rob Gronkowski packages. Mm -hmm. Now, quality-wise, these guys are not Aaron Hernandez, Rob Gronkowski on the football field in their prime. They are capable tight ends, though. They are not the needle movers we usually say to invest in a tight end position the guys that can win handily one-on-one routinely the darren wallers travis kelsey's george kittles there's three of them there's really not a lot more in the nfl that exists at the tight end position sadly but these are for what they're going to run it's going to help cam newton out a lot yeah last comment on the patriot situation you know in that in the peak of the rob gronkowski aaron hernandez era they ran 12 personnel 59 percent of the time most in the nfl no team since 2011 has cleared more than 50 percent in a season i think they inch close to that number running some 12 yeah. running some 13 personnel getting these tight ends on the football field i mean you're paying them to exactly. be on the field at like this if point. you don't have hunter henry and john smith on the field at the same time for at least a majority of your snaps clearing that 50 percent number paying them this much money is going to be very difficult to understand but i think you mentioned this too but like Getting tight ends that can win over the middle of the field, like Henry, like John Smith, is going to help Cam Newton. That's where he's had more success than pushing the ball deep on the outside. 